It is known that the Royal Canadian Air Force is currently seeking to purchase 88 advanced combat aircraft to replace its aging fleet of CF-18 Hornets. According to the Canadian Department of National Defense, a total cost of C-15 dollars minus 19 billion, 11 dollars and 80 cents minus 14.9 billion, was required for the acquisition of the aircraft, related equipment and services. Quoted from Flight Global site, a contract is scheduled to be awarded in 2022 after evaluation by the RCAF. The Air Force wants the first jets received as soon as 2025. The new fleet is expected to fly beyond 2060. In addition to Saab, the RCAF received bids in July from Boeing, which is offering its F-A-180, F Super Hornet, and Lockheed Martin, which is offering F-35 Lightning II stealth fighters. Canada is also part of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Program, spending more than $500 million on the effort since 1997, an investment that has allowed Canadian companies to secure C$1.8 billion in contracts from the project. However, Ottawa has not yet committed to buying F-35s, hence the acquisition competition. Politicians objected to F-35s in part due to the high cost of early examples of the stealth fighter. The cost of the F-35A has fallen to $77.9 million per unit, though operating costs remains high, at $35,000 hourly. Lockheed has promised to lower that figure to $25,000 hourly by 2025. For its part, Saab has proposed that Canada's Imp Aerospace and Defense would handle in-country production of the Gripen E, and provide support over the lifetime of the fleet. The company says initial aircraft would be produced in Sweden to meet Ottawa's goal of first fighter delivery in 2025. It is still evaluating how many aircraft could be made in Canada, but says it aims to maximize the number. The rest of the Saab Gripen for Canada team would include CAE, which is to provide training and mission systems, Paraton Canada, which is to supply avionic and test equipment, as well as component maintenance, repair and overhaul, and material management, and GE Aviation, which is set to provide and sustain the fighter's turbine engines.